Yo, what's good, Sneaker Logs? Your boy Sneaker Box. I'll check and back in with another sneaker video. Hopefully, everybody been cool since the last video. This right here is the Air Jordan 11 Retro, and it's wind like 96 colorway. And you see it, man. Very sharp, gem red colorway, man. I like what they did with the shoe. I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't a big fan of the shoe when I first saw it. Um, I first recognized this as a Carmelo Anthony PE because the first person I saw wearing them was Carmelo Anthony a few years ago. He was rocking these, which kind of confused me because I'm like, why is Carmelo? Why they would make a PE Carmelo in all red? This would be more suitable for, for like Chris Paul or somebody like that because he was on the Clippers at the time. And Melo was on the Knicks, so it didn't make sense. But I saw him wearing it with like a suit or something. I was like, ah, it's cool, whatever. I mean, I get it. All red at the time, Nike was just going crazy with the... With the all red everything, man. Red October this, red October that. Like, I wasn't really on that wave like that. So, but, you know, the shoe kind of grown on me over the past few months. I remember hearing that this shoe was going to release, like, I think at the beginning of this year or maybe late last year or something like that. And I saw a little mock-up picture, you know, the shits that people make and stuff like that. I wasn't really tripping off them. But the last few months, I started to see, like, the real pictures of the shoe. And I thought, you know, the shoes grown on me. I ain't gonna lie, man. It grew on me. And I'm glad I picked them up. Glad they released them. Um, what I'm gonna do is give y'all a quick overview of the shoe. Point out things I like about the sneaker. Y'all already know how to do it. Give y'all a chance to do the same at the end. So let's just jump right into it. Like I told y'all, the win like 96, the whole concept. Uh, the theme was that, you know, they're commemorating. It's 3 feet run with the Bulls, the second one. Um, they came out with some win like 82s. I did pick those up as well. I should put those up on the channel. Stay tuned for that. Um, but these commemorate that second three people run with the Bulls, and they did a good job. I think they were just messing around when they gave him to Melo. You know what I'm saying? Just, I think that was just random. They just gave him to him, messed around with it, and now they, you know, brought him out as a as a release. You know what I'm saying? Like a general release or whatever. So, I, what I like about this, y'all like the upper, the all red upper. I think the color blocking scheme is dope. Just that simple, that red, white, translucent outsole. It really works, and I do like, one of the things I really like about the shoe that attracts me to the shoe is the the shade of the red. That It's a deeper red shade that I like, and I I think that that's a very good thing, you know, saying that makes the shoe. If it would have been vibrant, like one of those, you know, loud, that kind of lighter shade, I probably wouldn't have rocked with it like that. But since it's a deep red, when it comes to red, I'm, I'm kind of picky. Like, I like more so the, the deep red uh, colorways. I do make exceptions. For like the Jordan Six the infrareds, you know what I mean. But for the most part, like the more darker, deep red uh, shades. Now, here's a look at the front. You see the laces, the rope laces, even the ribbon with that um, the script, the Jumpman Jordan script, and the hits of black. You know, what I'm saying on the Jumpman as well. I like it, man. I really do like it. I think it's dope. Here's the back. Twenty three. Not stitched like the 45 on the Space Yams, but it's all good. It's printed on there or whatever. I think that'll rub off over time, but it's all good. My other ones, my Bread 11s and my a lot of my other shoes don't really rub off as bad as other people's does. So, it's not really a big deal. That's how it originally looked anyway. The the difference though with the Mellow PE and these, on the Mellow PE, I remember that the Jumpman was white. On these, it's black. So, not a big deal. But um, I can't remember if this was white on the Metal PE, but, you know, for the most part, man, it's pretty much the same damn shoe. Here's the bottom. See the traction paws, red. Carbon fiber, I'm not going to tap it like I usually do because I'm working with one hand right now. <laughs> Getting this to y'all, but, yeah, the Jumpman, you see the Jumpman underlying the outsole, translucent outsole. Uh, and also the white little paws underlaying it too. They could have went with a deeper blue maybe. Not super deep, but I don't know. It's, it's a decent tint, I guess you could say on the outsole. Let's look at the box. You see the plastic covering. When you slide out the box, this is the plastic covering. We all know about that, uh, that they do. They've been doing that for a few years. And I think they started that like in 2011 or so. And what we're going to do with the box sticker, let me focus, gem red, black and white. And here is the box sticker price of 220 Actually got these for under retail. Clap for your boy, under retail. Every time we get something for under retail, man, 
that's what make the shoe even more um, appealing. You know what I mean? Getting something for under retail, man. Shit. Can't complain about that. But yeah, dope shoe. I got a little discount at the store. I got these uh, on release date. I actually had these reserved off a of raffle. And, um, you know, these were widely available, man. Mass GR. I know a lot of people, some people were trying to hype these up um, just to, you know, build the hype. But it wasn't going to work on your boy, man. I knew Mass GR. Um, I, shit, I, I even went to the store after. I got there late. And, you know, you, you know how they, they reserve shoes. You got to pick them a certain time. I got there late. Still had pairs. Grabbed my pair under retail. Got a discount. And, uh, yeah. Uh, even, I wasn't too sure how this was going to go, so I had a reserve, I had a pair reserved on Nike, and I went ahead and grabbed that one before the release date, but, uh, I'm going to let these go, I'm not doubling up or nothing like that, so I'm going to let these go to the little homie, he didn't have a chance to go pick these up, because he want, he like them, but, you know what I'm saying, he's not really crazy on, like, you know, trying to, you know, shit, people got shit to do during the day, so he wasn't able to really just go out there and go get them, so, I'm going to let these go to them for retail. Not going to hit them over the head like some of y'all be doing. But, yeah, this is, um, I mean, these shoes are everywhere, man. You could have found these. I, I believe if you were really trying to get them and you went out there and got out there early and got them, I think you could have got them, man. You feel me? I see some people, you know, some people make a little video or whatever. I think it's just for content for their channel, just trying to make it seem like they just jump through all kind of hoops to get them. She had probably had them reserved at a store or something and just trying to, you know, run around with a camera looking crazy just for some views or whatever. <laughs> because I I think these were everywhere. Man, sporting goods stores had these. Shit, even I bet a damn toy store probably had these hoes if you were looking for them. You know what I mean? But, um, shit, that's all I got for this video, man. This is the Win Like 96 Join 11 Retro. Let me know what you think about these. I point out what I like about them. And, uh, like I said, I like the color blocking scheme, the, the shade of the red, the... The shoe is just dope, man. It's a sharp looking shoe, like I said. Let me know what you think about them. Did you pick them up? Were you able to pick them up? Should have been easy. Um, do you like your purchase? What do you, you know what I'm saying? What do you like about the shoe? Leave me a comment down in the comment box. And I appreciate the views as always. If you're a new viewer, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned to the channel for more. Um, I'm thinking about relaunching the channel, maybe. You know, I've just been busy, man, working on other projects. And, you know, I kind of fell back from, you know, from the whole, you know, sneaker video thing for just a little while, man. Just, you know, took, you know, just working on other stuff, other projects. But I might be relaunching the channel. Stay tuned. I'll keep you updated. Stay tuned to the channel. And uh, hit that subscribe, man. Hit that notification bell. All that stuff. I'm going to get into the swing of things. Um... I'm probably going to be organizing my top 10 for this year. I've been kind of consistent with that over the past few years. So stay tuned for that as well. Get that together for you guys. And, man, appreciate the views, man. Cool chopping it up with y'all. You know, it's been a little minute. But, uh, shit, we're going to keep it pushing, man. In the meantime, in between time, y'all stay cool. Check it out. Always remember, copy what you like, not what they hype. Stay up. Peace.